Good evening, 47. Your destination is Sapienza, Italy. Your target is Marco Abbiati, a wealthy businessman returning to his hometown to run for mayor, a snake-tongued right-wing populist with mafia ties and money to burn. Abbiati is already comfortably ahead in the polls. However, beneath his silk suits, Abbiati is a callous thug and organized crime is certain to follow in his wake. Our client, the renowned bioengineer Silvio Caruso, sees Abbiati as a threat, not just to his ancestral town, but the entire country, and he has asked us to dispose of this would-be patrician. I will leave you to prepare. G'day, ladies and gents, and welcome to yet another episode of Let's Fucking Play Hitman. Today we find ourselves back in the sunny Italian coastal town of Sapienza, and we're here to assassinate this guy. As always, there's a few different ways that we can go about this, and in today's run, we're going to be taking a silent assassin suit only approach. So let's get cracking! The first thing we're gonna do is make our way through the party and up the steps. We'll then proceed to jog past the morgue and jump over the stone wall of the right of the building where we'll pick up this brick. Now we'll simply jog our way around the cemetery, being sure to stick to the right for as long as necessary to avoid the security camera on the wall of the church. Then, we'll make our way along the remainder of the pathway, head down the steps into a more secluded area of the cemetery, and when the nearby gardener is elsewhere, shoot the power outlet on the ground to set a handy trap for later. Now let's retrace our former footsteps all of the way back out of the graveyard and climb back over the wall to leave the area. Phase 2 of our master plan involves this guy. Why? Because we're about to break into this building, and unfortunately for this dickhead, he's standing indefinitely in a position from which he'll be able to catch us in the act. Hey, who are you, huh? Sir, I'm talking to you. Hey, you! That's clearly a disguise! Naturally, we cannot allow this, so we'll open the door to the bathroom behind him and toss a coin over to the other side of the room. Okay, let's see. Stay put, I'll look into it. Please do, mate, please do. Twelve seconds later. Okay, so after knocking him out and hiding his body, we'll dump his weapon in the nearby trash can, pick up our coin from the floor, and head back out onto the street where we'll take a left and walk over to the door that we're about to break into. When the coast is clear, we'll unlock the door and slip inside. Now we'll carefully make our way up the staircase and pick up the soda can sitting on top of this box. Then we'll head up the next flight of stairs and grab a second soda can from atop this radiator. Up the final flight of stairs, we can see a bodyguard posted outside an apartment that we'd like to get into. So sadly for him, he's gotta go. Hmm. Ah! A coin! My day just keeps getting better and better! <laughs> now that he's out of the way, we'll drag him down the stairs so that he's out of sight, and then head back upstairs and pick up our coin, his gun, and a key to the apartment. Obviously, it would be advisable that we use this key to unlock the door, but 47's never been one to shy away from social interaction. So instead, let's ring the doorbell and say g'day! <laughs> G'day, mate! Sir? Oh, 47! You rascal, you! Okay, so instead of ringing the doorbell, we're actually going to be using the apartment key to unlock the door. We'll then press up against the wall, open the door, and have a peek inside. Is that you, Mr. Abiotti? Oh. <laughs> Fucking perfect! Now that we've knocked him the fuck out, we'll enter the apartment and pick up Abiati's schedule from the bed. Then we'll head on over to the microphone and get in touch with the man himself. 47 informs Abiati that a meeting that he has scheduled with some of his associates has been pushed forward by an hour, and after a bit of a whinge, he begrudgingly agrees to comply. This particular meeting just so happens to be taking place at the secluded area of the graveyard in which we set our trap earlier. So let's start making our way over to the cemetery. After making our way back downstairs and out onto the street, we see our target making his way to the meeting location, so we'll quickly jog over to the same wall as before and climb over into the cemetery. It's about to become a restricted area, so we'll quickly run down the side and then lean up against the corner of the tomb to hide ourselves from sight while giving us a half-decent view of Mr. Abiati's final moments. 
I can't believe the nerve of that motherfucker! He pushes our meeting forward an hour, and then doesn't even have the decency to show up! He must think that he can just push me around and I'll never do anything about it! Well, guess what? I'm going to piss all over this obvious electrical hazard! That ought to teach the bastard a lesson- <laughs> <laughs> Well, looks like we pissed him off. Now all that we need to do is discreetly exit the cemetery and we're home free. Alternatively, if we happen to be running low on patience at this point, upon entering the cemetery, we could have again run straight down the side, but this time past the left of the tomb and down the stairs. Here we'll crouch down behind the wall on the middle landing as we wait for an approaching bodyguard to position himself at the top of the stairs and turn around. When he does, we'll sneak our way around to the other side of the wall where we'll stay for as long as it takes the bodyguard in the distance to exit the meeting place. As soon as he's on the move, we'll quickly dash down the stairs and across the beach, and then climb up the wall to the secluded area of the cemetery. Now that we have some time alone with Mr. Abiyadi and while he's distracted by the view, we'll carefully sneak behind his two nearby bodyguards before sending him plummeting to his death. What in the- No! Target down. Now head towards an exit. Well, that takes care of that. But before we get out of here, let's have a little more fun with good old Marco. You know, when you stop to take it all in, you really can appreciate- Oh! What was that? Oh, I, I suddenly feel- eee. Now head towards an exit. Huh? What's this? A cell phone? Ha! I bet that some poor sucker is freaking the fuck out right about now. Just wait until they find out that the person that found their phone was- <laughs> Okay, back to business ladies and gentlemen, and right now our business is to get the fuck out of here. So rather than riskily sneaking our way back through the cemetery, we'll jump back down onto the beach and make our way into the sewer, where we'll run straight down the tunnel and take our first left. We'll then exit through the next door and carefully make our way up the stairs. Now there's a bodyguard posted just around this corner looking right in our direction. So we'll quickly equip our trusty coin one last time and use it to divert his attention. What the? When he moves in to investigate, we'll quickly sneak up the remaining steps, make an immediate U-turn, race back towards the wall and climb over it to exit the cemetery. And now, ladies and gents, all that we need to do is calmly jog our way through the quiet back streets of Sapienza as we head towards our exit point. Excellent work, 47. The money has been wired to your account. This, ladies and gentlemen, concludes yet another episode of Let's Fucking Play Hitman. I hope that you enjoyed it, and as always, if you did, belt that fucking like button, let me know, I always appreciate it. There are still plenty of different ways of assassinating Mr. Abiati that we haven't yet explored, so we'll be revisiting Sapienza over the coming days to take a look at those as well. But that's all for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting the fuck out of here, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.